Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Cahill and welcome to my ideal day. This is something that I have been thinking about quite a bit as a writer. With me being at work at full time, with the kids at home, I don't ever really have a lot of time for me to just sit down and focus on my writing, focus on my creativity uh, and things like that. So now that I'm on a week off, I have decided to write down and then do what I feel would be my ideal writing day. You know, if writing ever becomes my full-time job, this is this is the routine I would follow. This would be Sarah Cahill's writing routine. It, it would be this, hopefully. My ideal day is as follows. My plan today is to follow this schedule as much as I can, obviously allowing for um, any obstacles or unexpected errands that might pop my way. I say that because I do already have an errand that I do need to complete that is not on my ideal day. But I, I do have a slot within the day that that can fit into, so it's not, it's not too bad. I have also deviated from it slightly, but that was not intentional. I do have quite a bit to do today. I say that like I have stuff for deadlines that I need to do. I don't. But I do want to get through a fair good chunk of actual writing today. I don't know which project I'm going to work on. It's either going to be the Leave the Hunt, which is my witchy YA novel. Um, probably some work on Beneath the Hawthorne Lies, which is my fairy YA novel. Or, and... Let's try and work on all three. Come on now. Um, I need to do some more work for my uh, new project for the 24 hour novel challenge, which I'm going to be doing in June. But I am working on the outline for that and I want to get it as detailed as I possibly can if I'm going to write 50,000 words in 24 hours. So we'll do a mix of those three. I don't know which one I'm going to start with. We'll just see what I feel like when I get to my first writing session of the day. It is currently 8.49. I am supposed to be in the middle of the school run right now, but uh, my husband is doing the school run this morning because he's also on a week off, which gave me some free time unexpectedly. Um, but I am due to start my walk in 10 minutes. So I'm going to finish my tea, eat my breakfast, which I haven't done yet told you a little bit off schedule this morning and then we're gonna get started And we are back from our first part of the day. At least it is five to two. So we have done our first couple of hours of writing at the coffee shop, which admittedly I didn't get as much writing done as I would have liked. I ended up working on They Lead the Hunt. And I don't know why I had such trouble getting into the scene slash chapter that it was I was writing. It's sort of a just after something has happened and then just before something else is going to happen and the way that i have sort of set up how the scenes go because i've outlined it in scenes this one scene is in this one character's pov which makes it one chapter 
and there's not enough within that scene to make it a chapter without me adding a whole bunch of stuff to it. So that sort of slowed me down because I started feeling unsure about whether or not this scene was relevant or whether or not it would be interesting enough to have as a chapter. But I think, you know, I've just got to push past that and actually just get it written. And I can alter it and change it if need be. And if it ends up being a short chapter, it doesn't really matter that much because especially when you're doing multiple POVs in the book, which they leave the hunt is, specific events happen in the POV of specific characters. And if it is a big, massive event that happens, you can have the big, long chapter with all of the words. But if it's a small moment, which is more character sort of setting up bits of plot which will happen later on in the story you know it can be a little bit shorter and I'm trying to wrap my head around yes it's fine for it to be a short chapter no it doesn't matter that the chapter before it was probably about 3,000 words and this one might not even hit 1,500 with the way that I'm writing it it's fine it's a first draft just get it written and you can change it later so that's what I'm dealing with myself at the moment um, I'm just making myself some more tea and then I'm going to sit down for the next few hours I think three till five I think is my next big set of writing for the day and you know just try and get as many good words in as I possibly can I picked a really bad day to do this because at the moment I just want to nap and I don't want to at all do any work at all whatsoever at all like even filming is not convincing me to, you know, do some work. Like that's not convincing me at all. <sighs> but push past it because this is what I need to do. I cannot just give in every single time my brain goes, oh, I've done enough work now, thanks. Because then I'll never get anything done. So we've got tea. I need to find myself a decent snack. Find one somewhere and we are going to get to work. I'm determined to finish the next scene or the current scene that I'm writing um, within the first writing sprint Pomodoro that I do because I don't think I have a lot left of it to write and then I'll either move on to the next one which is where my big thing happens or move on to a different project we'll see how I feel when we get there. Ignore the mess. That is my desk. It is. It's a little bit terrible. into my second writing session of the day still really really don't want to do it but I am pushing through and I'm getting some work done I have abandoned the lead the hunt um, I had more to do than I thought I did and I wasn't bothered to finish what I was I was bothered to do the scene so I have moved on to the novel that I'm doing for the 24 hour novel challenge in June and just going through all of the very vague points I have made now for um, the plot um, and um, trying to sort of start filling in you know sort of basics of what needs to happen within all of those scenes and then once I've done the basics I'll rework how I've set Scrivener up and I will sort of write in more detail bits to go with those scenes. I need as much foundation as I possibly can so I know exactly what it is I need to follow so there is less me oh my god I don't know what I need to write next what sounds good and more me is this then this then this then this and hopefully that should sort of help keep my momentum going. It's not hard work it's quite easy work actually so I feel that's going to serve me good for the rest of the day to just 
research things, you know, backstory that I need. There's a little bit of mystery going on, so why are the things like they are for the mystery portion of it? Um, so it's sort of like a mix between me plotting and free writing at the same time. So it's just, it's a lot easier on my brain, which I am happy for. I have had a snack, I have another snack. I'm tired, so I'm very, very snacky at the moment, which is not good, but I'm not gonna do anything to stop it. And we are going to continue with the next hour and a half of writing. So we'll be doing that until five, and then we're gonna hit dinner and free time, which I am very much looking forward to. And that's my sign to get back to work. Excuse me. We are moving into the last half hour of the writing session. Abandoned once again what I was working on. I'm no longer working on my new novel. I got tired of my brain having to think of new things. So I have moved once again onto uh, my fairy novel, Beneath the Hawthorne Lies. I have a familiarity with that story, which should hopefully make things a little bit easier and hopefully get me a little bit more focus than me sitting there having to think of new characters, new plot, new mystery and things like that. We, I did so well with this novel and now I've reached a bit that has, has had to change from the previous draft and that always sort of trips me up a little bit in the editing department because I underwrite, I always have to add so much stuff afterwards like for consequent drafts in order to you know fill the drafts out and make everything make sense but I find it a lot easier to add things I say I find it a lot easier to add things than I do to take things away or I prefer I prefer to add things rather than take things away because once I've written something and I like it I want it to stay and I've had so many issues in the past where scenes and things have stayed in the novel because I like them they're not necessary specifically for the novel to make sense or for pacing or stakes or tension or stuff like that so I have to take them out and taking something out that I really really enjoy that I really like just it pains me it pains me a lot to do that so I like underwriting so I can add stuff in rather than you know being forced to take away stuff that I really enjoyed writing we are one chapter away from midpoint in Beneath the Hawthorne Lies at the moment. Like I said, we were doing a very, very good job and then this chapter's like completely stalled me. Which it shouldn't because it is mostly written. I just have a few um, paragraphs to join in with each other to sort of fix it and make it make sense. And then from midpoint going onwards, that is where the plot will change slightly. And we'll have a lot of new stuff coming up after midpoint has hit because that's where the plot sort of changes and where I added more stakes, more interest, more drive for the main character in order to do what she needs to do. So we've got 25 minutes left, that's one more sprint. I don't want to say hopefully I'll finish this scene in that time because I probably won't but hopefully we'll get most of it completed and then we will be on to dinner and free time. It is nine o'clock in the evening and we have just finished, I say we like it's we, I have just finished uh, my last writing session of the day. I skipped projects again because I wanted something a little bit easier than me trying to physically do some writing. So I turned to my manuscript um, for my YA high fantasy project body swap 
aka Thrice a Broken Oath, which I don't like the title for that, so I'm gonna have to rethink the new title. I didn't realise I was at a very difficult part in the revision process for that, so that was a fun struggle to do. Um, I have a lot of events in there that I need to change to different POVs, um, a couple of um, reveals in the plot that need to be moved to later in the plot. So it was just basically a bunch of me reading through and like crossing out this because I don't need this page and putting a star next to this going this needs to be moved to page blah blah blah. Um, so not massive progress done on that but I managed to get a couple of chapters um, done and written through um, for that so more progress there. I think it's the first time I've touched this project since January as well. I've got too many projects I need to work on. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for like not working on a few projects for absolutely ages. I think I've got another one I haven't worked on since January either. But I, I need to put my focus somewhere. So now that Abingdon House is done, it's, you know, witchy, fairy, new project. And this one and my other YA fantasy are like sort of the ones on the back burner at the moment, but that might change in the future, who knows? Um, it is now teen book time, so we are going to find my book that I was reading. It took me an embarrassingly long time to find that book. Um, I'm currently reading Nevermore. I started reading it in February for my one book a month that I'm supposed to be doing and this is only the second book I've started this year. I am getting quite far through it though. This is what I have read and this is what I have left to read. So a good hour and a half I've got um, sectioned off time-wise to read so probably get through the majority of if not all of that today depending on how fast I read and then I get to pick a new book which is maybe not a decision I want to do today but we'll, we'll see how it goes um so yeah last little bit of my day book and tea and uh at the end we'll, we'll see how I've done how I feel about how I believe my ideal day should go And so we are done with the ideal day. It is now the next day because I wasn't bothered to continue filming after I'd um, done my hour and a half of reading and book. I did manage to finish Nevermore. Two books read this year. Yay, I'm already beaten last year, which I'm super, super happy about. Um, I don't know what book I'm going to pick next. I don't know whether I want to go for another middle grade or whether I want to go to a YA. I'll read the backs of all my TBR and see which one I'm feeling and hopefully it won't disappoint me. Thinking about how it's gone, it went okay. I feel like if I was more in the mood to do some writing, the day would have felt like it had gone better than it did. Um, again, I was so much like I don't want to do writing but I have to do the writing because I'm trying to follow my ideal day and this is what I'm supposed to do. But I just wasn't in the mood for it. If I was in the mood for it, I think how I've spaced everything out, give myself enough time to, yes, do some writing and enough writing to, you know, satisfy the full time, this isn't the job that I need to do sort of aspect of it. And then making sure I factor in time to eat. That is enough time to sort of rest between <laughs> doing the work and then making sure I give myself free time where I can do whatever it is I want to help fill my creative well. Giving myself the time to read, which is something that I never let myself do or I'm never bothered to do. Ignore that, I've got a child tantruming in the background. But yeah, I think the way I did it was a good mix of work and relax and re-energize. I think the ideal day is something that I want to continue doing at least twice a month just to really get into this spirit of writing and sort of 
give myself that time that energy that motivation to get everything done that is everything for this video thank you so much for watching let me know down below what would your ideal writing day be and i will see you in the next video good thoughts and happy writing Thank you.